havoc. Can we get some yo's? Yes, it's time for Mario Kart Show. We're farming Tic Tac clips. Hello. Oh, I gotta change my fan settings, I forgot. Full speed fans! There we go. That might be the fastest I've ever clicked a noti. You know what? I'm glad the noti worked. Wait, was it the Twitter or the Twitch noti? I kind of miss the days where I used to do Mario Kart, like, every week. But now there are little treats when I do it once or twice a month. You got the Twitch notification that fast? Twitch dev, write this down, that never happens. Yeah, I only have- I used to have Twitter notifications on for some accounts. <clears throat> because you could enable notifications for certain accounts you follow. Also, let's turn the music down. There we go. Like, there was a point where I had notifications on for, like, <clears throat> Lazan and Squeaks, because they would tweet before they go live, but then Hassan started tweeting, like, 30 minutes into his stream, and that's annoying. I usually post my tweets, like, one to five minutes before I start stream, that way if people want to get here early, they can. The one thing you do like about YouTube's live UI system is their go live notifications if somebody doesn't pre-schedule, the stream suck. But, like... Because on YouTube, you can schedule a stream for, like, let's say, 11.15. I can do that now. And the moment I click go live, it'll automatically play the video feed if you have the tab open. And you'll get a notification, like, instantly. Otherwise, Twitch has, like, way better services than YouTube streaming. Face came on in one minute? I'm not even kidding. Dude, how long has OTK been doing their top streamer series? Like, it seems like it's been going on for like, two months. I've considered applying to it, but it's scary. And I don't know if, like, OTK, o OTK crowd would like me. Plus, I don't like Asmin, I'll say it. Okay, three, two, one. Oh wait, I gotta turn the text off. Hello. Good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. It is 11.03 on Thursday, August 29th. I live right on time. Also, <laughs> I woke up early and I've been editing all morning. Like, I literally woke up, went straight to my computer. I've been tip-tapping all morning. And I forgot to have breakfast, so I'm gonna have my breakfast now. <laughs> Oopsie! It's kinda like, when I'm in the mood to work, I wanna work. You know what I mean? 
Also, we had Vic in the starting soon screen. Welcome in. A um, little bit of, a, of an update. Yesterday, when I said I had to go turn in paperwork, that was true. And it was at my plasma donation center. And because you guys know how I had the blood clot recently because of them. So that issue got figured out. I got no compensation, which is oh well, even though it's their fucking fault. You know, I could sue, but I have no money to sue. Anyway, so I go in anticipating that they'll be like, oh yeah, peace, and you can donate again, smile. But I go in and they're like, actually, you can't. And I was like, what? And they were like, yeah, because because I started donating last July, like literally July 1st. And I have had very minimal issues. The most I'll feel is just fatigue, but that's normal. But, huge but. Also, hi, Tooth. Can we get some yo's? Huge but. Ayo. Apparent, because obviously whenever you donate blood or plasma, there are different chronic conditions that can like affect your eligibility sorry i got an email don't you love thank you slay don't you love when you get an email from another college and they're like can you give us more money it's like bitch i'm still paying off my diploma <laughs> you think i can give you 100 bucks anyway <coughs> dude my voice is fucked today in stars and time i legitimately should have done voice warm-ups anyway so I go in and they're like, actually, Peason, you can't donate. And I'm like, what? Because as most of you guys know, I have a Chiari 1 malformation. It's where my brain sticks out of my skull a little bit. Like this much. Very little. So apparently, if you have a Chiari 2 or 3 malformation, you can never donate blood or plasma. But I have a Chiari 1, so it's fine and it's allowed. And I was like, okay. But they were like, peace and last year when you started donating, our staffers didn't give you like a permission slip for your doctor to sign. And I was like, what? And they were like, I know, I guess that person just forgot to give it to you and we never followed up and checked with you on it. So for this whole past year, like I felt fine. I have very minimal side effects. I should not have been donating. <laughs> but because if you don't know, you can donate blood or plasma. It helps with EMT emergency situations and also certain medications. Um, anyway. So, I'm still, like, allowed to donate with my condition. But the main differentiating factors between the Chiari 1, 2, and 3 is how much your brain sticks out of your skull. So, a Chiari 1 is, like, this much. Chiari 2 is, like, this much. Cherry 3 is like that much. And 2 and 3 have other more severe chronic conditions that like will happen alongside your your brain sticking out. But even though I'm allowed to donate last night when I got home, because they were like, oh, here, here you go, peace, and here's the forms your doctor has to fill out. But in order for me to get those forms filled out, I have to schedule another appointment and they can't see me till October. I was like, okay, that's fine. I gotta wait another fucking month. But... I get home and I look up more like research studies about the Chiari because it's like it's simultaneously a common but not common condition. It's common in the sense of a lot of people have it but not a lot of people have symptoms and I do have symptoms. I experience paralysis, numbness, and probably nystagmus which I talked about in a TikTok clip that'll be up in like two weeks where like my vision jitters so basically it's not recommended for those with my condition to donate they can but they truly shouldn't because there's some smaller studies it's hard because since it's such a rare condition there's not a lot of studies there's actually a clinical study being done in new york i'm not gonna do it but I've considered opting in for it. Um, there's not enough studies that can determine correlation versus causation for long versus short-term side effects of donating blood or plasma with my condition. So I got home, I was looking up some of the studies. Like I said, they were like correlation, not causation. Um, some of the side effects, like if I keep donating, it could be like 
brain herniation, it could lead to blood pressure issues when you're not donating, which blood pressure issues are one of the minor side effects of a Chiari. So I was like, shit. You know what? The blood clot was probably their error, but it also could have been an indicator of me having an adverse side effect because of the condition. So I'm obviously going to talk to my doctor about it in October, but I decided I'm not going to donate anymore. It's not... Because I was looking at like other like hedge cases, and there was more <clears throat> correlation between those who donated blood or plasma with a cherry one, two, or three, to where they experienced like more severe um, chronic conditions as a result. Because when you donate blood or plasma, obviously they're withdrawing blood, so it affects your blood pressure. And there's been some cases where individuals with my condition, mind you, with my condition, if you have no underlying illness or disease, you should, you're totally safe and fine to donate. Obviously, talk with your doctors. But there was a small number, small but substantial number of individuals who had adverse side effects in long-term donations. So I talked to my sister about it last night. I was like, shit, I don't, I don't feel comfortable donating anymore. And like I said, I didn't have any adverse side effects besides that one blood clot, but in my opinion, that was probably an indicator of, hey, you should stop. <laughs> and it's kind of good. So, TLDR, no longer going to be donating plasma. So that means Peason has no money. <laughs> For sure now. So guys, subscribe right now. But just to make crystal clear, if you have no underlying condition, and if you are the proper weight, please donate blood and plasma when you can. Because it can help those in emergency situations. It can help create um, medicine for those with chronic conditions. But if you do have a condition, please make sure to thoroughly check with your doctor. Look up studies and stuff to see how it could or would affect you. Yeah. So that was yesterday. It was a very stressful day yesterday. Because <laughs> I was talking to the staffers there. Like, explaining the difference between the Chiari types. And they're like, huh. It's weird that... Cherry 1 isn't banned then. I was like, yeah, it is kind of weird. Because it's literally the difference between, like, millimeters between the uh, diagnosis credentials for 2 and 3. But typically, individuals who have Cherry 2 and 3 are diagnosed when they're either, either fetuses or, like, toddlers. Or, like, pre-birth. So, even though the credentials for diagnosed are very similar, if you have a Cherry 1, you're typically diagnosed as a teen or adult. But it's very similar to the other two forms. Or there's actually... I think there's four or five forms. Yeah, so that was yesterday. I feel good now. Because now I can... Because donating plasma and blood... When I did, did it... When I did do it... Took me about, like... Five extra hours out of my week. But now I can spend that five hours with Chet! Or... Editing or drawing. But now that means that's like guaranteed $500 less a month for me. And like my rent is $500. So, uh, VOD watchers, politely subscribe. Yeah. So that was yesterday. I do feel bad because, like, I want to be able to donate, but it's just not in my best interest anymore. Because going back to it, one of the studies said that individuals who had Chiari of any form, there were some instances where they later in life developed MS. And I was like, shit, I do not want that to happen. Because MS is very similar symptoms to what I have, but when you have MS, you're more immunocompromised. Like, right now, if I get sick, I should be fine relatively but if you have like ms or other immuno based conditions if you get a cold it could be dangerous so i was like shit i don't want that to happen intentionally so yeah <clears throat> anyway enough yapping are we ready for some mario kart but before we do that guys today's stream is presented to you by peace in art dot ain't no way New artwork available soon. I said tomorrow, but you know what? Peace in line, people cried, and that's what I'm supposed to do. So, hopefully out next week, because I totally forgot this weekend is holiday. It's Labor Day. So, even if I 
like, launch tomorrow, I would not be able to ship till Tuesday. So... Oops! I totally forgot it was holiday, because literally all the federal offices are closed till Tuesday. So you know what? Next Friday, that way I can ship out immediately. Dude, I totally forgot. I didn't even realize it was holiday! And I do have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday, so... Uh... Anyway, all the paintings you see back here are on work. I also have lino prints available, which are stamp block prints. I have color in black and white versions, so you can color it yourself. You can get the whole complete set or the singles, where you have a 10% chance of getting a hollow. We've already had one lucky customer get a hollow, and you know what? It was Kim, and I'm so mad. She got so lucky. I was genuinely so upset, because <laughs> it was really funny. Because <clears throat> Kim purchased the prints during the stream. So I saw her orders come in. She bought like four singles. And I was like, I really hope he gets scanned. And that motherfucker got a hollow. Okay. I believe that is all. I'm locked in. Now let's make sure everything is synced. It should be synced, hopefully. If not, ooh. Usually, whenever I switch scenes, it fucks it up. Okay, we're gonna test. It's good. <clears throat> I was gonna say, I'm so happy I got three stars in every pre, but I don't. Wait, what? I don't have it in the acorn cup. That can't be right. Wait, I Dennis thought I got it already. Okay, guess not. Guess we will do computers first. I was gonna say, man, it feels so nice having all the three star gold trophies. I feel like such a gamer. Let's just do online, but no. I don't. I'm a fraud. Wait, no. No. Okay, stream ends when I get a three-star gold trophy. <clears throat> also, I'm wearing a sweater today because my arms were really cold. Last night? Because, you know, it's August. The end of August. Fall is coming. And I've been sleeping with my weighted blanket. And it's surprising because it's not too hot. Like, I used it during summer with no issue. But last night, I was cold. I had to bring up my comforter. Oh, what even happened to the shell? Watch the skipping coming. Okay, so there is a bit of resistance there with the grass. I wasn't sure. Man, I haven't played in like three weeks. I'm resting. I really should be playing every day. You know, if I'm gonna become a pro player, I should grind. You know, I got greedy there. I just wanted that gold number one. <laughs> wait, am I lapping people? Oh my god, wait, no. I'm literally lapping people. Yoshi is stupid. <laughs> I also need to be quiet because my sister is sleeping. You know, it's kind of her fault that she's sleeping when I'm streaming. Like, streaming is my job. She should not be sleeping right now, even though she does night shift. There has been a few times where, like, I have woken her up by accident. And I feel bad, but it's like, I'm doing my job. This is what happens when you work from home. No, I'm kidding. I, I do try to be quieter, but you know what I mean. It's kind of hard. Sometimes I want to pop off. And I told her she should get she should get some earplugs, but she never listens to me. Okay, I'm throwing.
the moment I start talking is when things go downhill. Every time I reset, I'll change my character. I'm done with my shape. <clears throat> okay, I'm locking in. That the roller wheels are the current meta in Mario Kart. Everybody kept giving me slack for choosing a bike, but you know, maybe I was right all along. Or maybe is the meta roller wheels on a cart? Wait, <laughs> wait. Maybe I am still wrong. I don't know. I'll never go to a cart. It's too hard. Okay, also, Peach is so hard to control because she's lighter weight. With this build, I typically do heavy characters. I was thinking about this this morning. If you are somebody who works from home, does your employer need to supply your laptop and your internet service? So I was thinking about it. I'd have, I'd have to actually- wait, watch this. No, it didn't work! If I lose again, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna scream so loud. It's gonna wake up my sister and everybody else on the block. No, I won't. <laughs> I will jokingly say I'm gonna scream, but I never commit to the bit. What? One day, I need to do it. I won't, though. I'd be too embarrassed. I don't want to be like Ethan Bradbury, you know what I mean? W. Nothing can keep me down. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. If you have a remote job, does your employer need to supply your laptop and internet service? Because if somebody works in a traditional office, that's given to them, right? But if you have a hybrid, where you have remote and in-office workers? Do you have to give the remote workers their supplies too? I feel like that makes sense. Because I was thinking about it. If I hire an editor, do I have to buy them an Alienware laptop so they can edit? You know what I mean? Like, I'll have to look that up later. Because that's like, a laptop? Yeah, you can give them a shitty laptop. But for editing, you need something like hardcore. You need a really good processor. And I know Alienware is cringe, but, you know, I stream from it, I edit from it. It's meant for gaming, but it's pretty good for, like, production services, too. Everybody glazes Apple and Mac, but even when I had a MacBook Pro, it wasn't that good. It was slow as shit. But also, like, <laughs> I was also picturing... Like, everybody pulling up to the peace and business meetings with Alienware laptops with their RGB setups and the fans that are so loud. I don't know. <laughs> I still think it'd be kind of funny. Okay, I'm really bad at this track. This is why I don't have a three-star yet. This makes sense now. Ah! I didn't do it fast enough. I 
I do feel like I've gotten a bit better at item usage compared to a year ago. Because the strat is now focus on protect protecting yourself. So having an item held behind you and making sure to where if you get ghosted you have a secondary item to protect you as well. Because before, I would play very vindictively. Like if somebody hit me, hit me with an item, I would hit him back. Because I was, I just wanted their revenge, you know what I mean? But now, I'm 25, I'm more mature, I know what I'm doing. I'm more rational with my decisions. Similar thing with a coin. You keep it in your hand, that way if you get ghosted, the ghost will take the coin and not your secondary item. This is actually really good, because my secondary item was the banana peel. One thing that I do need to get better about, though, is getting the double item boxes. I always forget. Because getting two items is game-changing more often than not. Easy. I've just now realized why I haven't gotten this pre yet. It's because all these tracks I do struggle with. Besides the underwater- Wait, wait dude, these are circuits easy. I lied, the first two are difficult. <clears throat> why does Peach's hair look shiny? Looks like a little toy. No, you know what Peach Egg kind of looks like? She looks like the shittier knockoff McDonald's toys you get. Where, like, you know it's, like, official merch, but it still doesn't look right. Like, if I got this version of Peach and my McDonald's Happy Meal, I would be kind of disappointed. I'm like, where's her brooch? Where's her full gown? Like, what's going on? This is a fit that, like, a toddler would wear. Because, you know, it's practical. It's got the skirt that has the shorts in it. But it's not Peach. You know, that was a totally improv bit. Are you proud of me? Okay, I'm locked in. Like, for real. On God, on God. Man, I've been saying that a lot. I just think it's funny. Like, catchphrases or... Or slang that you say twice? For a real, for real, I'm god, oh god. I, I find it so hilarious. Okay, I'm going to keep my green shell because I love that protection item. It's not me thinking that clone was a banana. I'm bad at Mario Kart. Wait, she literally does not have the blue brooch. And you know what I also don't have? New followers, because guys, we're 30 minutes into stream, so if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to tap in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? And if you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on. Do it now. <laughs> okay, I have to win this one. If I don't, I'm going to be very upset. And I'm never gonna sh <laughs> Luigi hit the- Wait, was that Yoshi or Luigi? You know, all green people look the same to me. I'm colorist. No, that sounds bad out of context. You know, I think one of my favorite bits that Squeaks will do- I watch most every single one of his streams. I love his content. No, go! No! Is when, because obviously he speedruns and then he does like bits and banter throughout the run. I think it's so funny where he says a joke and he doesn't like it and then he just resets the run. He's like, I don't want that in my good time if this is a PV. It's so funny. But that's why like I can't be a speedrunner. I would say jokes that, okay, aren't bad. But you know, I don't want the public seeing it in my baller run. Because you know, sometimes jokes don't hit and that's how it is. Oh my god, so lucky there. 
You know, I thought I was gonna get a mushroom or something, but a boom box? Maybe I should go buy a lottery ticket. That was crazy. No, I shouldn't. I, gambling is bad. It should be illegal. Oh, wait. I should have held the coin. I don't like flying in that section, it's too unpredictable. Yeah, Peachette, I think it's too light for my playstyle. I, I definitely need a heavier character. Ain't no way. Jackass, I still won. How do you even catch me? But you know what? Three star gold trophy, finally. I actually have three stars in every single pre now. I'm no longer a fraud or a liar. Also, the game should be lower. I usually keep it at 12, but it was at 10, sorry. Editor, fix that. Oh yeah, screw bear mode. Wait, I don't have all 150? What? Oh, I have gold and everything, but not three stars. Okay, well, I don't care about that. <laughs> Did I do a time trial? I've never done time trial. Let's do 200. Race against ghost. 121? What? I'll try it. Because now that I've gotten gold and all the pre's, I kind of want to try time trials. Oh, you only get three mushrooms. I totally forgot how this works. Wait, how are they so fast? There's no auto accelerate? Oh no. That's why I've not done time trials. Oh, that's so bad for me. Don't worry, I'll catch up. Okay, that was clean. Ooh, plus four seconds. Oh. How are they so fast? Okay, I lost a lot of time because I didn't know it was auto accelerated. play while holding A the entire time. It's impossible. <laughs> okay, I haven't seen the you lose in a long time. No PB though. Okay, so my second and third laps were only one second behind them. That's not too bad. 
Okay, I've decided I do not want to do time trials. I've decided. I'm making the executive decision. I'm not. I'll try one more time, though, now that I know... Now that I know that it's not auto-accelerate. Hi, Emerald. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Okay, I'm locking in now. Oh, now I'm beating them, see? Dub incoming. Wait, they're right on my ass. And not in the fun way. <laughs> Minus point eight? Or point zero eight. Wait, stop. You cannot be faster than me. They probably got better acceleration. Okay, they go for their M2. Ooh, I didn't trick L. Plus 0.7. Yeah, I need to work on getting more coins. Okay, that was a horrible line. Cool. I hate seeing that animation. New PB, though. Three seconds behind. Yeah, I beat them on the first lap. Second lap behind by a second again. Yeah, my lines on my second and third lap weren't the best at the, near, at the ramps near the finish line. It really is BS how I can't have auto accelerate on. That is genuinely such a handicap. You know what? Nintendo's being ableist. I'll upload my ghost if you want to race me. People can search ghosts to race. You guys know what time it is. It's online time. Okay, let's write down my rank. 7845. <laughs> Will I go up or down? You know, gotta go with my goat, Pauline. You guys know the drill. If I get first, chat gets a sub. Let's keep the prediction open for 10 minutes. Go Gamba. Do you think I will get first place at all today? I'll play for like an hour. My goal, at least, is to get hmm, five first place, five per first places, and then maybe increase my rank by a million. Do I have text on this scene? Oh, I do. First places. Here, let's cue that up for later, because I'm obviously going to get a dub. Not now, but later. Go Gamba, do you think I will get at least... One first place today, which has become the norm. Okay, why are we getting losers POV? This is not what I pay for. I love a good underdog story, but you know. Lemmy, he's really putting the L in Lemmy. <laughs> Ooh. 
Wait, he's not drifting at all. Oh, now he is. For that turn, he wasn't drifting. Dang, a mushroom and then a triple mushroom? They're really cooking him. Oh, and they No, they didn't fall, they fell. I think the simulation was breaking there. Something I've been thinking about. Since I obviously can't become a pro Mario Kart player, what if I try to become a commentator? Mm hmm. Blue show? Dude, the shell is like twice as big as Lemmy. <laughs> oh, it was mirrored. Okay. Lemmy. I'm not really good at any of these. So you know what? Random. Why not? take a dolphin shoal. I'm not good at it, I can admit that, but I'll take it. Okay, I'm locking in. I'm gonna get first on my first race, watch me. And if I don't, then we'll just do silly jokes. <laughs> Imagine not boosting. go that way, but I do think that was quicker. No! What was that even? I'll take a six. hold the shell behind me because we're all too close together. Even if I did hold the shell, the fire would have still gotten me. I need to practice this line. I'm in last? <laughs> There's nobody behind to hit the shell, so it doesn't fucking matter. Now what we need is a lightning bolt. Through to get a better item, and it's gonna hit them in the air. <laughs> you know, I hate getting hit in the air, but I love watching it happen to other people. Am I a villain? I'm not going for that side path, I'm not good at it, and I don't like doing things I'm bad at. The shell didn't target me. No items. No items!
It's joke time, everybody. <laughs> She's having a heart attack. <laughs> You know, I'm not saying this to be mean, but I think Paulina is too much of a heavy set character because she's so muscly. So I'm gonna go choose a lighter one. I wish it would show me like the weight of the characters. It's been a hot minute since I've played Shy Guy. I'm pretty good at Sydney Sprint. Online is hard for real, for real? No, it is. It's so difficult. But you know, computers is too easy. If I- okay, legit, if I play off stream, I'm so cracked at Mario Kart, I get first all the time. But you know what? I'm gonna look at my TV, look at my computer, look at my OBS, look at chat, look at my TV, look at my controller because I sometimes forget the buttons. It's hard. It's difficult. I came up with a perfect analogy for streaming. And I'll tell you in a second. Bone dry dunes! At least I'll see myself easily against the track because it's red and I'm green. I know we joke about streaming being a real job, or it being an easy job if even, but in actuality, it's really hard to play a game and look at chat. I think the best analogy is, it's kind of like when you're playing Valorant and then your girlfriend keeps texting you, and you know she's gonna get mad if you don't reply to her, so you kind of have to like text her like anytime you die in between matches. But streaming is harder because I have to play my game and then glance to the side, either turn my head or look away with my eyes every few seconds. Oh my god. <laughs> so it's genuinely so difficult. I can't imagine having like a thousand viewers in my chat just going duh, 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 the whole time. Like that has got to be insanely difficult. It'd probably keep my attention the whole time, but I would for sure feel overwhelmed. Okay, wait, come back time. <laughs> nice drive, Bozo. I wanted to throw the banana because having it like trail behind me doesn't really work. Okay, wait, come back time. Believers? It feels like Shy Guy is so slow. I know that's not the case, though. Oh. No. hit in the air. I'm just bad at this track. I'm looking at the prediction. We had 100% yes. Thank you. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Don't worry. I got two bad tracks off the jump. Give me Toad Circuit. Give me an easy one. Guys, have no fear. Peace in is here. I'm gonna get a dub.
Wait. Wait, I can I can maybe do this. I'm really good with non I'm really good with linear non-looping tracks. Sometimes, but not always. I'm good when I'm good, bad when I'm bad. What is nice is that everybody is a similar rank today. We have no outliers who are really low or really high. So, you know, everybody's at my level. I always jump there thinking there's a ramp, but there's never. second you don't even need a boost there I've gotten so good at that skit man you would think I've been playing this game consistently for three years now you would think that I've gotten good, which I have, I'm just not great. Like, if they had Olympics for gaming, which, dude, imagine they did. I don't know if they would submit Peason for the, <laughs> for the American Mario Kart Olympics team. <laughs> Didn't, I don't know, I don't remember if I heard this right, but are they gonna add gaming to the Olympics? They should. Gaming's a real sport, use your fingers. I think it's at the same level as, like, gymnastics. Fuck. Put me in, coach. Oh my- I'm in last. There's not even 12 people here, and I'm in last. You know, I think Shy Guy is too light. I can't do light characters anymore. Thank fucking god. Oh, I could have cut him off. Okay, I need to change characters. Or maybe I'm just saying that to cope with my loss after loss. But you know what? Maybe it'll fix the problem. Maybe. They all left because they're scared of me. Wait, ain't no way it's just five people. <laughs> oh no, the items are gonna be whack. I'm gonna be getting a star in like third. Paris Promenade, good course. I'm good at this one. Guys, get your popcorn ready, because you and I are going to eat. <laughs> that was a horrible boost. <laughs> Jackass. First place clippers! I knew that was gonna happen. Wait, what's up with the orange Yoshi? <laughs> Are they okay? This Dennis feels like a hundred CC. Oh, 
Oh, I wanted to try and throw in front. Second is a boombox. Oh my god! I'll throw it at the next item box. I destroyed my own shell. <laughs> oh my god, what am I what am I doing? A little bit of crazy sniper. Huh? Oh, it's still got him! Jackass. <laughs> to be fair, I was the second lowest rank. I need to focus. I need to lock in. Coconut Mall, literally, I will win. This is not a joke or a drill. But you know what is coming your way? An ad. Because, guys, we're an hour into stream. So it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your as a prime to your Twitch and subscribe for free. Click subscribe to see if you got that sub. Do it. Okay, no more yip yapping. This race, I'm not gonna- If it's coconut ball, I'm literally not gonna talk. I need to win. It's not coconut ball. Perfect boost for once. Holding this behind me because I'm scared. Something that I learned recently, in order to form a union in your workplace, you only need two people. Isn't that crazy? You just need two brave souls to get it started. You know, I thought you could need at least like 10, but you just need two. Also, I learned that if you're an independent contractor or like any type of contracted labor where you're not an official employee, you cannot unionize. And there's also a lot of exploitation in like small business where people will make you a contract worker even though they're treating you like as an employee, whether hourly or salary. So just check your like state labor laws. Cause you know, I can understand like caring about your managers or your bosses, but they don't give a shit about you at the end of the day. You know, they can talk nice, all that jazz, but they can easily replace you, because ultimately you're a body. So you know what? Why not leech as much out of them as you can? I got angry there. I should have held the boomerang. Okay, yeah, I'm doing good. I've held like top three most of this race. Ooh, my old flame rose gold peach. I knew that red show was coming if I passed him. Well, triple banana is good. You know, I'll swap it out for a different item.
Wait, I almost lapped some people. First was so far ahead. They were like an eighth of a lap ahead. Dang, plus 19? You guys didn't see that. But plus 19, that was good. Wait, am I... Am I good at Mario Kart? Wait, I just realized the me talking about unionization. Do go to tracks, Yoshi's World. And if I start in second, wait, this could be it. Everybody's choosing Yoshi's World. Only nine people, too. Thank you. Okay. I'm locking in. I'm not even kidding. This is my track to win. You guys know the drill. If I get first track, it's sub. This is my track to win. Clean. I just wanted to get a little bit ahead. No items, not good. <gasps> that's okay, that's okay. Faith is still fine. I swear I heard a red shell sound. Oh, I did. I did that for the team. They put me behind two places, but hopefully they'll remember that at the very end. Jackass! Okay, the guy who got first last race is now in six. I'm at their level. I was like, star and seven, but that's because there's only nine people. I'm feeling mischievous. <laughs> I deserve that. That was not my banana, but I deserve that. Touche. Sucks. I haven't gotten any double boxes this race. Fifth? Okay, that's... That's fine. Definitely some things I could have done better. But you know what? That's okay. I just hit my desk. 
You know, I should go back to doing what I'm good at. Which is... <laughs> Something that I've been thinking about in the past and as of recent is that I'm not amazing at anything. Most anything I've done in terms of hobbies or accomplishments, I've just been average. But you know what? That's okay. I'd rather be average at things than be horrible. Or too good, because if you're too good, then that's your legacy. Like, what if you're really good at something you don't want to be known for? Like, if I was the best- Oh my god. If, <laughs> if I was the best Mario Kart player, then the expectations would be too high. You know, every time I lose, it would feel like ten times worse. Versus if I'm an average player, and the one place- and the one time I do get first, you know what I mean? Like, it'll be crazy. I think moral is, you can't hold yourself to such a high standard because people truly do not care. Why do you throw behind him? Dude, what is going on? Okay. Dude, what is going on? I don't think I've ever hit 10k rank in Mario Kart. That's my goal for the year. I don't think I put it in like my New Year's resolution. I still think it's achievable? Question mark? I would just have to grind offline. Like legit. I used, when I would bike every day, I used to play games, so I would play play like Cuphead or Mario Kart, but I don't do that anymore. I'll just put on a video. And before, I used to have like a higher resistance setting on my bike, but now I put it at an easier resistance, because now I pedal more, so I kind of travel more distance, and then I burn more calories. Versus when I had it on like medium to hard resistance, I pedaled less and I got tired quicker. I don't know which scientifically is better, but for me, burning more calories is probably better. Oh my god, the other day, I thought I was legitimately going crazy. Because you know when you have a splinter, like, anywhere in your body, and, like, you can feel it. And when you look at wherever it is, you can see, like, a little tiny speck of where the splinter is. And I swear, I had a splinter on, like, the palm of my left hand, but I could only feel it when I, like, rubbed my hand a certain way, like, up and down versus side to side. And I kept on looking at it. I was like, I cannot find the splinter. I cannot find it. And my sister, she's really good at getting splinters. Like, she doesn't enjoy getting them, but she's really good at, like, tearing open your skin and ripping it out. Which I get kind of crazy doing that. But she's really good. But she was sleeping, so I didn't want to, like, wake her up. So she woke up like six hours later and I begged, I was like, please, 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 can you look at my hand? Because it was bothering me like all day. She looks at it, we could not find the splinter. At that point, I'm freaking out because I'm like, is it like inside my hand that deep? It can't, it can't. And then we got like a magnifying glass and apparently it was just like a, a micro cut on my hand that it happened to line up on like where my natural creases are. So we just couldn't see it. But like a whole day of torment for like the tiniest of paper cuts. Yes, yeah, so that was my day the other day. Okay, legitimately, me getting hit by first place red shell accidentally fuck like legit fucked me. I was gonna say fucking cooked me, but it fucked me. 
a piranha plant? Really? Really? <laughs> it's so funny, because the way I react to like getting hit by items of Mario Kart, I like shake. If I would have used the ghost, I would have been fine. I could have clutched. I do wonder... I've gotten in a few cards since when I was very little and a toddler, so I have no recollection. But I wonder, like, if I get into an accident now and I see, like, a car approaching, am I gonna do the same thing? <laughs> like... <laughs> Not that I want to test this theory, but, like, would I... <laughs> would I preemptively, like, react and freak out like I do on stream? <laughs> I'm in 11th. I need to lock in like i think i need to leave and come back i think this lobby is not the right vibe rosalina time go. my goat Smile. Wait, I saw Kalo in a different lobby earlier. You know that anybody playing in NA right now is unemployed. It's 12 p.m. It's 3 p.m. on the East Coast. Or maybe they're like logged into their Microsoft Teams, but they're not actually working. <gasps> It'd be cool if when we're spectating, it, it by default gave us winner's POV. They always give me last place. Which is my own personal normal POV, but like, I kind of want to see what it's like to be on top, you know what I mean? Dude, why aren't they going for the skip? What are they doing? Girl? They're not going for any shortcuts. Maybe they're clueless. Pause, they're coming back? I wonder why they're holding on to the star. Oh, finally they go for a skip. Okay, now they know what they're doing. I think they heard me talking. Finn, wait. It's honestly surprising that they came back considering all the L's. They took by not going the skip routes. Wait, they're legitimately listening. Now they're going for the routes. Ah, uh, they didn't fly all the way across. Okay, still from last to 12. Or sorry, from last to fourth. That's good. Now it's my turn. water park and I literally will win. Go easy on me. I need a win, please.
Wait, wait. This could be good. No? It will be good. Missing gold coins and the final boss. Oh, there's nothing saving me, is there? I think the silliest thing I've ever seen out in public is a maintenance vehicle that had a rat promoting their company on a Tesla. I live in Washington State, so you know it's Lib Central. You see a Tesla in like every third home. Like, everybody's got one. EVs are really popular here. But, why would you, as, like, a potential owner, because it was like a, it was like an SUV, so like not a maintenance vehicle, it was probably their personal car. But, like, why would you, as the owner of a maintenance company, really purchase a Tesla and get it wrapped? Like, come on. You gotta know that Teslas are shit. Like, if I see you pulling up, as my maintenance guy with a Tesla, I'm canceling it. I don't trust you. I wish I took a picture. I wouldn't show chat the picture because obviously it's a local company and I don't want to like put on blast. But I was just looking at it bewildered. <gasps> I'm locking in. I was going for the double. Wait. Oh, it's gonna hit me! <laughs> I don't know how that guy came up from behind me, but I'll take a second. I'll take a second. Hi Kim, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. You better beat the Kobobo lookalike. Are you just saying that because like every like white blonde haired guy looks like Kobobo? I think that's very problematic. If I get Sky High Sunday, I literally will win. I need this, please. I've been playing for an hour. I need a win. His me looks the same. Oh wait, I was- I changed lobbies. There was another me- because there was only one blonde me and it had like an emo bang cut. But I guess that one, the one in the blue, the dark blue, does kind of look like Kobo. <laughs> wait, I feel like we're talking shit. Blondie? Guys, the plan is simple. I'm gonna win this race. Watch me. Watch me. Ooh. <laughs> Dude, get off my ass! Sorry. I'm getting upset because I haven't won yet. I ain't playing no games. Besides Mario Kart. No, but legit, the personality test I took yesterday, it was freaking how accurate it was. Okay, bye, Kim. You better not be lagging. I'm still gonna hold on to the shell. I'm playing safe. What even hit me? Somebody... I need a replay. I can be so good at my lines, I can know what I'm doing. All it takes is one screw up. 
It's kind of like life, actually. You never know what will come your way. You can prepare and learn as much as you can. But all it takes is one incident, like you losing your job. Or you getting into a car accident, and then it's like GG's. Wait, this is such a great analogy for life. <laughs> Hi, Zyle. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. I thought I stole the bar! Chat, is this real? That's a comment I'm seeing everywhere online. I do feel like live streaming is becoming more popular, but it's kind of weird to me how it's become like the chat is this real phrase has become like a meme phrase. I don't get it. Like, out of everything, why that? Guys, don't worry, don't worry. I'll get a win. Have no fear. Because peace in is here. I'm kind of feeling wild woods. You know, I'm surprised nobody's asked me about the rumors yet. <laughs> Yeah, I've been workshopping this bit. I don't know how to word it without, like, it sounding bad. Really? Sorry, I hate this track. I think it's not necessarily weird. It's just really obscure to me how a lot of Western culture likes and consumes a lot of, like, um, East Asian content. So, like, K-pop, everybody's a weeb now, and it's, and it's, like, normal. But out of everything, why do we like Japan stuff so much? Okay, so the punchline, that's the premise, right? The punchline is maybe it's to make up for what we did back in 1942. Or 43? Was it 42? 42. <laughs> but, like, right? Like, why, why does everybody fucking like anime now? I go to the mall, and every third store is like a knock-off anime merch store. Like, yes, anime is sick, but why out of all the cultures, why do we love Japanese culture so much here? I can't figure out why. There's probably like legit some like historical reason why. It just hasn't clicked for me yet. What? I couldn't see anything, my vision was obscured. In serio? It's really funny because all those like anime merch stores at like outlet malls in my area, you can tell that it's like unofficial merch. Like so many of their plushies and t-shirts look so bad. <laughs> I don't get how people- <gasps> wait third place! I don't get how retailers can get away with like selling knockoff merch. Like how is Nintendo not sued them, you know what I mean? 
Because they'll sue everybody else. But... Oh, no. Wait, I'm gonna first Clippers? I kind of want to throw it. I'm feeling... Selfish. Wait, I can kind of clutch. Damn! Oh, that was close! I think that's the best I could have done. I got really lucky that I got the triple shroom at the end, but that's, I think, legit the best I could have done. Sweet Canyon, and I literally win. You know who else could be hashtag winning? <laughs> People who follow the channel. Because <laughs> guys, we're another 30 minutes in. So if you're new here and you're lurking, click follow. It's free. And if you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. I've had people ask if I would sell fan art, and the answer is no. I'm too scared to. Like, what if out of all the people, Nintendo wants to make an example out of me? Which I think is a self-hating crime, because I'm half Japanese. But also, like, I don't want to build my brand off of fan art. Because once you start doing that, especially, like, in online spaces, so, like, social media or your website, people expect that from you. So the moment you try, the moment, I don't like this track, the moment you try to like branch off and sell original artwork, people won't buy. That's why I'm only selling original work at this point. Because the main factor when you think about those who consume and buy art, you have to think about those who want to own your artwork. Like, you need to think about collectors. You can't be making art that is trendy or a fad, because that's not good for long-term income. Like, yeah, you'll get a bag now, but it's not a bag later. Also, I wouldn't want to sell fan art or a piece that's too trendy. Because let's say it does get really popular and I had to make 100 units, I would not want to make 100 units of it. Like, all the artwork that I have, I genuinely like. It may not be, like, popular, but I still like making it. Fuck. Wait, this is game changing? If I know what to do! I was trying to go for the grass patch, but I turned left too late. It's still left too. I can get a bullet bill. Pause. I think I've talked about this before, but the reason why I decided to not make video content or blog too much about my art stuff is because when you commoditize it, it makes it feel more dead. In the sense of like, what? why are you doing this? Why are you creating? Like, you're just making a TikTok to promote your work, which is fine, that's how advertising is. But I don't think you as the creator should do that. Like, you should, obviously, if you can afford it, you should hire somebody else to film and produce social media content for you. Because that's not what your job is. That's not what you want to do. And yeah, I haven't made any sales from people who found me on social media besides people find me on Twitch. But... <laughs> Sorry, she's so sad. Something that really stood out to me was... It was a Ludwig stream. 
I take a lot of inspo from Ludwig, okay? I'll admit it. I'm a Ludwig. But he did a stream where... I don't like any of these. Where he watched, I think, a thousand YouTube shorts in a row. And a similar concept. Of, it was like, I think, 500 TikToks in a row. And he said, any time that like a video came up that was promoting like an independent business's product even though if it was like an original like video he was like oh this is an ad and he would instantly swipe away even if the product was good or if it was like art or whatever he was like oh this is an ad and i never thought of that perspective because there's the argument that like making tiktoks about your art art to promote is still a creative process but ultimately you're promoting the product so it's not as genuine, I guess. That's why I think it's very, very difficult for smaller independent business to know what to invest their time and money into. Because there's just not enough avenues for like market research. Because if you don't have a large enough audience, they can't give you enough feedback to where you'll hear enough different things about it. Because this past weekend, I went to like a little market, and it was a market specifically for smaller businesses in my area. Like, it was a city-funded event by like the business association within the city. And you could tell which vendors and which business owners knew what they were doing and those who did not. Because you can have good signage, you can have good displays, but if you don't have an inviting booth, if you don't have a staffer who's like willing to riz and talk to people, you're not gonna have success at markets. And I myself have never personally sold at a market. But what my mom did have me do when I was younger, like a teenager, was she and a friend rented out like space in like, it was like a market booth. Or like a store where you could like pay a hundred bucks a month and you could sell your like jewelry or craft stuff in like a building. So they did that for six months, no sales. And you know, I made earrings and necklaces for that, so I got nothing. But the reason why I didn't do well is because they went into it with no business experience, no selling experience. You can't just expect somebody to like your shit for them to buy it. Oh, I thought I had a mushroom. I thought I had a mushroom. You have to know how to promote and properly display things. So that way people who don't know what your product is are invited in subconsciously. And that takes a lot of like research and psychology knowledge to like succeed at. Because I've talked about this before. I've talked to a few like local art stores and vendors to see like what it would take to have like some specialty prints or cards available for sale in their spaces. And it's like, I'm not gonna spend the money for that vendor space only for me to sell like one or two things. Like, I need to learn more. Okay, what the fuck is going on? No! <laughs> I'm locked in. I think it's especially harder now because not a lot of people have spending money and that's fine that's just how it always is i think that's a big reason why you know when i still have friends and my sister supporting me i need to maintain the main focus of just enjoying what i do because if I started prioritizing, like, profit over enjoyment, then streaming wouldn't be fun. Making art wouldn't be fun. Because in order to increase profit, you'd have to work on promotion, more videos, more editing, more social media management skills. But that's not what it should be. Any creative thing should not be commoditized to that level on your own, I believe. Because when you're putting your energy into so many different avenues, they're all going to lag. And I've kind of understood that for a while. 
because like obviously i stream i click go live i edit i draw i paint it's a lot and it's also hard because you don't know like putting work and hours in is not guaranteed success when it comes to things online more often than not it's like 60 percent luck 40 percent work in my opinion Like, you have to have the luck, but then you also need to be able to put the work in whenever you do have that luck. Because I think it's really gross. Whenever people, like, start streaming to make money. Like, you should not go into any industry or field to make money. And this goes for, like, more professional, traditional jobs, too. Like, if you're gonna be- if you're gonna be a doctor, just to get hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, you're not doing it for the right reasons. Because you only have one life on this earth. Why not do it and- why not do it enjoying- Wait, why not live it enjoying what you- Wait, fuck. Why not live your life enjoying what you want to do? Or why not live your life doing what you enjoy doing? There we go. <laughs> I don't know why I was struggling so much. Um, it's my big brain. It makes me stupid sometimes. No! Okay, sixth place ain't too bad. I'm not upset anymore. Dude, if I legit don't get a first today... I dodged that mystery box thinking the person in front of me would not get it. Or thinking... Thinking they would get it, but they didn't. Jackass? Sinon is not getting another win. Must have been a fluke just like whenever I win. What did I start? I started out with today at 78.45. I just need to hold. DK Jungle and I win. I think it's really interesting because yesterday we did the personality test right and I scored higher and more logical thinking. And all the jobs they recommended were more analytical. Which, yeah, I'm more of a facts and logics person. Really? Mirror mode. Classic. I'm definitely a more facts and logic person, but I'm surprised there was not a lot of creative careers recommended. Considering that's the path I'm on. Then the path that I've always wanted to be on. Took away all my momentum. Okay, this track is difficult where I don't know where I'm going. The mirror mode is for sure throwing me off.
Top six? <laughs> I just don't want to fall off. It's scary. I legit have never fallen off. <laughs> Ain't no way I'm in last. Fake news. Jackass. You know what? Maybe I need to be put in baby lobbies again. I wanted to swim with the fishes. Yo, why is everybody else getting so lucky getting both bills and I just get mushrooms? They're not even legal yet. Not last, not last, not last. Outlast. You know, today has just been me coping with my losses and I've fallen below 7,800. I'm gonna blame the... Splinter that was not a splinter that was in my left palm. It was right here. I don't feel the cut anymore because it's been like three days. But we're gonna blame that. For this next race, no matter what it is, I'm not going to speak because it's Mario Kart Wii in the majority Sunshine Airport. Sunshine Airport is legit top three tracks for me. In terms of skill, not aesthetic. Okay. I'm not speaking. I need this. Guys, stream ends when I get first. I thought that was a mushroom. I feel like my game is glitch. Rosalina is not doing her talk like animations. Oh my god, I saw that. Yeah, no more talking. somebody in the air because I'm a jerk. Oh. 
fifth is good. I kinda... Okay, what do you guys think about this idea? I play Mario Kart, but I'm not allowed to speak until I win. I don't know how, like, that edit would look like, but it's another one of those silly ideas I got. I'll write it down. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that for April Fool's. You know, I say I'll save all the silly ideas for April Fool's, but I should just do them. MK can't speak unless I get first. And the joke is, if I don't get like first in online within an hour, then I just switch to computers. Good bit? I definitely feel like that stream would be a lot more fun whenever we had a lot of chatters, though. Because, you know, a no talking stream would just be like a normal small streamer thing to do, right? Because <laughs> small streamers don't talk much. <laughs> mm. First place is green. They have no reason to do that. And that was not a scream, that was just a really loud gas. <laughs> Please say to gas. Another star, they must feel sorry for me. Wait, fourth? Third? <laughs> okay, I don't want to cut this guy off. They threw the red. Full protection in second. Kind of messed up the line there. I thought we were turning to the right. I still don't have this track memorized yet. I just wanted to catch up a little bit. really did throw there. If I hadn't messed up that one turn, I think it would have been fine. And I dodged the, the banana in front of the one double item box for that last item redeem. But then the person in front of me got it. They were just too good. Athens Dash, I think, is my strongest out of these three. Dude, if I don't get a win today... What am I gonna do? Oh no. Oh no. Wait, September starts today? What? Oh, 
Okay, Twitch said, see terms at this URL, please keep an eye out for more September surprises. Okay, so that means they probably are going to do get discounted gifted subs. They just haven't announced it yet, which is stupid. They should tell creators at least. Wait, oh, offer starts on the 29th. Wait, that's crazy. Wait, what? W, guys, subscribe. Okay, another no talking run. You did not have to hit all of us. I believe in socialism, but not like that. Okay, he snuffed just me. Am I getting snapped, like, for real? I'm not popular enough for that. People have like protagonist energy where they think everything happens to them just because they have like main character energy. But legit, I swear people are out to get just me and Mario Kart. Today, that was the second time people got just me. And I don't point to which analytics. I don't have enough to get sniped. Wait, star. The Mario Kart guards are looking out for me. They heard my prayers. What even hit me? I'll take it. I'll take it. I need to not get greedy here. While I'm down, why don't you? You know what? I'll do one more race. I'll do one more. I can only take so much to my self confidence right now. Shy Guy Falls is always good. So the September discounts, I'm reading them more clearly now. It's only applicable to if you've never subscribed to a channel or if you want to do multi-month subscriptions from a tier 1. It's not just any tier 1 sub. It's just like last year, but it's still like... Lame. Wait, Shy Guy Falls? Wait. Wait. Okay, locking in. No messing around. Redeem the mushroom there to kind of fix the line that I flubbed. Whoa, really? Two people fell off in the waterfall? They must be throwing. 
The only snipers I want, if I get stream snipe, is for you to lose. Like, I remember watching an extra Emily stream where she was playing Fall Guys with her viewers. And literally everybody was waiting at the finish line for her to, like, cross for her. <laughs> it was so cute. Those are the snipers I want. I want wholesome snipers. Okay, wait, I'm doing pretty good. That's okay. Nope. I'm not okay. I redeemed my item early thinking it was gonna be a shell, but it wasn't. It was a mushroom. I didn't even see. Oh my god, really? Really? You know what? Rosalie is happy. So I'm happy. We know who is not going to be happy right now? Non-subs, because we're two hours in. So it's time for me to run some ads to give away the ad by subscribing for... Oh, somebody DC'd. Oh. Give away that ad by subscribing for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee and get out of your viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and subscribe for free. Ain't no way. Well, somebody DC'd, so... It would have fucked up the lobby anyway. So, you know, that's a good stopping point. Talking about stopping. Did I get a win in Mario Kart? No. But I did get a second. Next time will be better, I promise. But you know what would be looking better? A sap win. I can for sure clutch and get a sap win, right? Surely. Surely. Right? Please, I need this. My confidence is ruined. Let's change the title. Or we'll keep the title the same.
Okay, we're changing the penchant. There we go. Oh, September's an emote? That's fine. Okay. What pets do I need to work on? I should go for a beaver? Beaver or cricket or duck? Do turtle pack. Cricket when it is. In turn. Boasty sausages. <laughs> Offline, I always make my team name sausages because I think it's funny. Okay, this is an elf, but that's okay. Don't want to stop in. Two crickets off the jump. Very good. Oh, easy win. Definitely upgrading that first cricket was worth it. I was debating in my head. Two crickets? Yo. I'll sell this bad guy. Another cricket. Why not? Enter. Wait, this build kind of crazy. <laughs> Crickets? Trap is good. Dude, there's no way I'm gonna get a level 3 cricket off the jump. Giraffe. Giraffe. Ooh, meat bone is good. I'll give it to the cricket now. And turn. Wait, this is crazy. Getting a level 3 cricket this soon? And we're taking out the peacock. Nice. Give me a camel and I'll be so happy. Freeze the salad, because I don't want any of these. Freezing another salad. Another horse could be good for now. Yeah, because I would upgrade it to a level 2. Let's upgrade this horse. Bison could be good to get now. Because the, the cricket is going to be level 3 next turn when I combine. End turn. This is usually not the strat I do, but you know, it could work. That's okay, I only have four pets. 
find you. Penguin. Bison. If this has a level 3 friend, gain plus 1 attack, plus 2 health. I've never done a bison build. I don't want the horse. I just wanted to get a level 2. None of these are good. Enter. Actually, it could be worthwhile to keep the horse because it's a level 2. The penguin will keep feeding it. Okay, this team is not good because I don't have enough health yet. Camel for sure. I don't need the giraffe since I have the penguin now. Do I want the blowfish? I don't need the horse. I want the blowfish. I need this. Garlic to the blowfish. Reroll. Rabbit is good, but I already have the penguin, so it'll be free. I'll freeze this garlic. Salad this turn. Let's go. This is an interesting bill. We must be working towards getting a different pet. Okay, the camel does not need to be does not need to be that strong. Garlic to the camel. Could be worthwhile to give a honey to the penguin in case it gets sniped. Meat bone to the bison. Enter. Oh, Bison's gonna take off the hippo. Now we're cooking. I think I'll keep this team for now. I'll only swap out the Bison for a deer or something. I'm surprised I haven't gotten a worm at all yet. <laughs> right there. Enter. Close. Thank goodness the cricket's pretty tanky. I think it's probably best if I switch this around. Blowfish in the front. It's worthwhile to level up the penguin first because that way it'll give itself plus two, plus two. I don't want either of these pets. Pair to the blowfish and turn. Wait, does the pink one not give itself? Huh. Misinterpreted then. Yo! Holy. I'll take that. <laughs> Thank you for the 30 month resub. I appreciate that. I mean, can we get some Wemmies in chat? Thank you. 
That's almost three years. That's crazy. Thank you, Emmy. Three years? That's too long. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> okay. Pear to the blowfish. Apple to the camel. Reroll. Sushi. You know what? Cricket behind the camel to make it even more of a tank. And turn. I just need to hold and, and win. I guess the penguin does not give itself health. That's dumb. 1820 peacock. Uh, this one's gonna be tight. A draw? <gasps> A dub. <laughs> Chili to the cricket. Pear, blowfish. We're gonna rearrange a little bit. Like this. Uh huh. Pear to the camel. We got camel, cricket, blowfish, bison. Giving more help to the cricket because it does have the chili perk now. Enter. So lucky, so lucky. Mushroom? Let's give it to the camel, that way they can get an extra plus one. Reroll. Another chili and a sushi. Sushi for sure. Chili! Pufferfish. Enter. I'm not getting good rolls with the pets this round. I ain't. Maybe it's because I used all my luck with the cricket. The honey with the last pet is coming in clutch. 8 out of 10. <gasps> no way I went in the first one. No way. Mm. You know what? Selling bison. Snake time. Freeze the cupcake? Because I might want to use that. Rhino and deer? Girl. Hi, Ethan. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. You know, we're at a point of the game. Turn 14. If I put the rhino in now... I'd have to get rid of the penguin. Because I'm doing just pure offensive Safe build. Travels. Ain't no way! Thank you for the prime sub, Ethan. Can we get some Weathens in chat? Thank you. Finally! I got your freaking prime. Thank you, Ethan. <laughs> Sorry, Lacey. We won't tell him, don't worry. <laughs> Wait, guys, pause. Pause. If we get one more subscription or bit share, we'll get a hype train. Can we do it? From a different person, though.
Also, September technically started today. <laughs> Computer's working. <laughs> okay. I need to get rid of the penguin. Penguin's stupid now. Plus eight coins. Okay, rhino behind the camel. Mushroom. I'll keep the deer frozen in case I want it later. Ooh. <gasps> Chocolate! Wait, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Kim's at work so they can afford it. Wait, that's so true. Wait, does that mean... Since I'm not working, I can't afford a sub? Wait. Wait. <laughs> okay, okay. I need to lock in and think. I got three coins left. I got two hearts left. At this point, it's more advantageous to give the mushroom to the snake in case it gets sniped immediately. Next turn, we'll upgrade the rhino to a level 2 with with um, the rhino and then the chocolate in turn. You're technically working as a streamer. Wait, that is true. Because even if you only make a couple bucks a year on Twitch... That's so annoying. Dude, the rhino didn't even fucking work! Even if you only make a couple bucks a year on Twitch, you're still counted as a contracted employee. Damn. No! Come on! Okay, okay, okay. I for sure need to level up this Rhino. Now level 2, deal 8 rock damage for every knockout. I'm not doing deer. I ain't. Mushroom could be good. Giving the mushroom to the rhino doesn't really matter because you can't knock anything out with a 1-1. One, one. It's like very rare that it, that 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 even it's very rare that that even happens. I just need to stay alive. Stay alive. Pair to the rhino. Will you be doing arena after some after this win? I, I usually do arena modes. I don't do uh, multiplayer arena, though. Like, where you face, like, the same five or ten people. No! problem was cricket is fine because it has 28 health camel and blowfish did not get ample health early on i did not get enough like heart increasing items even though i had the penguin it wasn't worth it i should have gotten the rabbit damn oh i forgot to run a prediction let's do one more i'll do one more do I need a penguin? Wait, I need to check my Google Doc. I don't think I've gotten a penguin. And of course, the cricket win is haunting me. Okay, I have not gotten a penguin or an otter win. I have gotten a regular ant win. I forgot to add it to my chart. Okay. Let's see. I'll be down for an otter win because they do have three health. Let's do mosquito first so that way I can get a little bit of offensive. You know what? Let's do prediction since I forgot. Win this game. Go Gamba. Upset fireman. 
You know, their jobs are stressful. But you know, they're actually saving lives, so like, it's fine if they pop off sometimes. Doug? Have I gotten a mosquito win? Wait, I gotta check my dock. <laughs> I should just keep the dock open. I keep opening it and reclosing it. I have not gotten a mosquito win either. Okay. Should we go for mosquito? Fuck it. Why not? I think there was one time where I got really close to a mosquito win. I didn't pull through though. There's no way I could have won this, but that's fine. I'll persevere. I'm committing to mosquito build. I'm happy with this. Imagine putting your sheep in the front. You're so stupid. <laughs> and the horse in the middle? Okay, they still won, but... That was D-U-M. They could have gotten so much more. Ooh, swan and worm goes kind of crazy. I'm getting the flamingo just to stay alive for longer. Apple to the worm. turn because if worse comes to worse i'm selling the swan before the worm because i think getting the apples is more valuable than money i used to think the opposite but you know you need food to survive you also need money to survive but that's only in modern society like if we think back to like the olden days you don't need money because there was no such thing as money okay meat bone kind of crazy I'll give the apple to the worm and we'll re-roll. Rabbit. Selling the pig. I don't need the garlic, so I only give the garlic to pets that are meant to take damage. I'll take the meat bone though. I'm set up for next turn. Mosquito win in the bag, y'all. You know, it could be kind of crazy. No. Yes. No. Sell the flamingo. We get a second rabbit, but I don't stack it. Wait, this is crazy. But here's my number. So call me, maybe. We can double dip on the apples. I'm happy with that. Because, yeah, money's nice, but ultimately I need health. And 
the health really helped on that turn. Carrot could be good. But I'll freeze it for now. Meat bone to this first rabbit. I don't want the swan. They're tempting me though. Intern. can try a hippo build. This may be controversial combining these two like that. Ooh. I'll try a hippo. We'll give it the garlic. Now it gets extra. Oh shit, I should have sold a swan. Shoot. That's fine. Sell the swan now. Buy the pair. That way it copies the hippo ability. Next turn, we're getting a level 3 mosquito! Mm-hmm. This might not go well, but you know, I'm trying it. Me and the hippo were an old flame back in the day. Okay, the hippo's not tanky enough, but that's okay. <laughs> but you know what's not okay? Not following the channel. Because guys, we're another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click follow. You get cooling modes, and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty sick? Okay, I'm the reason why I'm not combining the mosquito now is because two more pets will spawn and it might delete that that chili. Ooh. Camo. You know what? Parrot's stupid. Buying the camo. Chili. No. Chili to the hippo. Apple to the hippo. That way it already has tanky health. Sadly. Next turn we'll upgrade the mosquito to see what pets we get. I just need to stay alive this turn. Lead to the hippo was definitely the better decision. Six out of ten. Ooh, deer is tempting. Blowfish is tempting. But no. Sushi. I'm gonna team my team. I'm gonna keep my team as this because they're all pretty tanky. Apple. Freeze this one. Level up the mosquito. Snake. Snake could be huge behind the hippo. I'll freeze it. Oh man. Next turn, I think I have to sell the rabbit. 
I'll still freeze it. We'll freeze, we'll buy the rabbit, buy the food, and then sell the rabbit. Okay. Because I think the worm is no more valuable than the rabbit at this point. A 16, 17, really? Wait, I can still maybe win? I did not think that would work. Upgrade another steak. Okay. Okay, dude. Okay. I'm gonna have to make the terrible decision. I just upgraded the rabbit. The fuck. Apples to the camels. And now, you sell the rabbit. Keep this as is. I'm gonna buy a snake. Because the hippo will get plenty hits in and we'll get an additional five rock damage and turn. Whew. I feel confident, but not super confident. Ooh, a 3-3 three, three deer. The bee is gonna disappear, though. Oh, it's a whale. Hippo wins. With 22-12, we'll be able to live through that. Snake definitely saved us. Two more trophies to go? Chili? This has got to be in the bag, basically, right? It's got to. Camel, salad, free roll. Scorpion kind of crazy. Scorpion could be kind of good. I'll get Scorpion next turn because it'll either be my last turn. No, next turn will be my last turn either way because if I lose, I'll only have one health, and if I win, I'll have a trophy. We'll save the scorpion for next turn. Health. To hippo. We roll. Okay, let's go. We're on the wire. I might live. I won't live. <laughs> Man, shit. Maybe mosquito? No! <laughs> okay. I have to sell the worm, because this is either way, potentially last turn. So I need to survive. Scorpion in the front. No pets are close to leveling. So we just need to give health. Okay, here we go. 
Oh man, please, please. Ooh, taking out their strongest pet. Imagine. Oh, they got a 9-7 short though. Oh yeah, we're good. Scorpion really saved us taking out that cricket. They had too much base health. Okay, 10 coins. Officially last turn. 9 trophies, 1 heart left. I have to win. Sushi, of course. Now it's worthwhile to freeze the melon. Okay, buying the hippo or the snake will not do anything. Melon to the snake. Sushi. Nice. Because buying one of these is just 1-1 one, one health. is not worth it. Okay, I think this is probably the best formation I could have. Because if they have a crocodile, they'll snipe the back. Yep, this is the best I can do. All I can do is pray. Wait, does this not kill? I didn't realize the melon worked against scorpions. But it doesn't matter, my camel's stronger. Fuck you. Why would you put shark in the back? You're literally so fucking stupid. Oh wait, there's a peacock. I mean, a, a parrot. I am so lucky. Good thing I kept these two frozen, thank fucking god. Snake now does 10 rock damage to a random enemy. Ooh, mammoth? Kinda crazy. Maybe I want that? Okay, okay, okay. This is officially the last turn, unless it's a draw. Somehow. I don't think it's beneficial to get the mammoth, because I would only get plus two, plus two. It's worthwhile to keep the scorpion in. We're going to keep it frozen, though, in case it's another draw. I think it's more advantageous to give the garlic to the mosquito. That way, if worse comes to worse, mosquito will take two less damage. I'm doing it. And if somehow it's a draw, we'll level up the hippo and go from there. End turn. Ooh. Okay, let's see what we're up against. Dude, another melon! I think they have about equal amount of health. So close. So freaking close. It's hard because I'm not going with my for sure strats today. I'm trying to I'm trying new pets, trying new builds. Let's do one more. I need to I can either get a pig or a beaver win. Yeah, let's work towards a pig win since I've gotten three already. Mosquito's kind of good to get now. I'll freeze all them. Cliche advisors. The salty streamers, that's so real. There's so much drama in this industry. You can't trust anybody these days. Also, new prediction, do you think I will win Go Gamba? You know, kind of worthwhile to get the horse, possibly? I'll sell the beaver. Okay, this pig we have to combine.
I'll keep the honey frozen. Two horses, but no pets that have a summon ability. Hmm. Turn three. So many pigs. I don't want the honey. I need health. Okay. Let's see. Stupid horse. We're selling it. Should I get... Yeah, I'll get the camel now. Reroll. Another pig? Oh, wait. It's at, it's at level 2, so I only need one more pig. Yeah, one more pig. Yeah, because there's two here, one here, yeah. Three, one. Okay. Dang, okay. I'm getting really lucky with the RNG today. For the level one pets, which is good, because you don't get them often in later turns. That's okay. That's fine. We'll give the meat bone to the camel, but I'll swap it out for a garlic later. Today's just been L after L. Uh oh. Hedgehog like took everybody out. <laughs> Sell a mosquito. Purchase giraffe just to get temp health. A bolt to the camel. We roll. Nothing good. I'll freeze the giraffe, because when you upgrade the giraffe, the two pets in front of it get upgrades. Swan is good. I'll do this. Ooh, penguin. Parrot could also be good. But I don't- I don't want the parrot. I think Ping was more valuable. Penguin? Swan. Freeze the swan. Oh, rabbit is also good. Rabbit. Rabbit is better than the penguin. In turn. Man, if I would have gotten the rabbit sooner. Yeah, this team heavily relies on the pig. Not good. Too many pets that are low level. Or low health, rather. Okay, six coins left. It's in my best interest to buy these. That way they at least get plus one. Oh, man. Final heart. Only one trophy. <laughs> it 
And it sucks because I keep getting summon build after summon build. No, God, please. <sighs> One more time. One more round. I'm just not. Should we do cricket again? Should we? Should we? I was hoping to get a horse, but no. More advantageous to buy the duck and freeze these two for next turn. In turn. Broken <laughs> legends. Yep, now everybody got plus one. So I just need to stay alive. Definitely going for a cricket build now. That's how it's done. No hearts lost. Two trophies. Turn three. Flamingos. They win. Level up the cricket. Level up the cricket. Rabbit. Okay, okay, okay. What's more valuable? Additional health? No, I don't want rock damage. Rabbit. Swan. Worm. Reroll. Another swan. Ant behind the cricket because cricket is my strongest. Okay. This could be a decent setup. Because if we're getting rabbit, swan, and worm this early on, I have faith. I don't. Double worm.
sleep. This is kind of crazy. Dumbass bitch. I don't need money. Camel in the front. Next turn, we'll, if we get a pet that we want, I'll swap out the worms. Or combine them. End turn. Whew. Summons! Summon builds galore! I'll take a draw. My god. This is so stressful. It's hard having one pet you don't like. I don't like any of the tier ones. Four coins left. Keep beefing up the camel. Now the camels are basically the same level in health. Not physical level, but like stats as the cricket now. End turn. Oh, I should have combined the worms. Next turn, we'll combine the worms and get two rabbits. Yo, what happened here? It's like taking candy from a baby. Okay, watch this. I know. Oh my god. We'll buy Rhino next turn. Four coins left. Next turn, combine the rabbits and we'll buy the rhino. Wow. This could work. You know what, for now? I need to build up these front two pets, so we'll keep the rhino frozen until we get another rabbit. That's what I'll do. And another rhino. Oh, wow. And turn. I'm 
keep rushing now. Now the plan's in action. Buy a rhino. Feed it this. Gets an additional plus two. We'll also give it the bone perk next turn. I'm keeping the mammoth frozen because I might want that if I really, really need it. We'll swap it out for the worm if I get to one heart. I'm keeping both of these worms frozen. That way I can level it up when I need to. And also give additional health if I have shit food items. Because I think I'll keep this team as is. I won't swap out anything else, I think. attack Omega Dance. Okay, the only problem now is that I have less spaces to get a Cricket Gamba. Food here. Apple here. I'll do this, that way I get an extra space here. Man, they're tempting me. Okay. Maybe I should not upgrade the worm, actually. Oh no. I'm still gonna win though. You know who else will be winning? The subscribers. Because guys, we're three hours in. So it's time for me to run some ads you can avoid the ad by subscribing. For $5.99, just $6. And it is September. So if you want to subscribe for the first time ever, or if you want to extend your tier one for three, six months, nine months, or a year, you do get a discount. More information in the pin chat. Because it is September, even though it's August 29th. It starts early this year. Subscribe right now. Okay, back to it. Let's see. I need to free up space here. I'm realizing now. Worm stocks. 2-2. Mammoth just gives 2-2 two -two for free. Fuck the worm. It's mammoth time, baby. More health to the camel. Reroll. Another cricket. <gasps> Mushroom to the map, but it's gonna go crazy. Yes. Mm -hmm. The awkward uncles, um, Rhino is stronger. Wait, they have a shark. I just saw that. I might still win, though. Lucky. Two hearts left. Eight trophies. I came from nowhere, and I'm here. You know what? It's worthwhile to level up the mammoth. Mushroom for sure. Up 
We're using the chocolate, that way I can level up the cricket next turn for sure. We'll freeze the rabbit, that way if we need to we can get extra health. Otherwise this is good. I need this desperately. Rhino is definitely good against this specific summon build because the the zombie flies kept spawning low HP even though they were 8-8s eight and so my Rhino was strong enough. 9 out of 10! And I got a cricket for free. <gasps> I got a cricket for free. Okay, okay, okay. Level up the cricket because if I win, I need a level 3 cricket. And then... Level up the Rhino. We'll keep the Rabbit and the Pizza frozen in case the next turn's a draw. Reroll? I don't want any of these. This is probably my best formation. Let's go. Please, uh, this is my fourth game of the day. Please, I need this. I need this. I need I need to win today. Oh no, the hippo. Come on, Cricket, you can do this. Thank God I froze items. That's okay, I still got two hearts, I said, it's just fine. It's fine. It's fine. Cupcake to the rhino, he needs to live. Pizza? Reroll. Salad. Things are kept frozen, in case it's another draw. Draw is the best option, if it's not a win. Obviously. Still the best formation? Let's go. Oh, I see why they did that. Oh my god. Rabbit, Cricket, Rhino, Camo, Mammoth. Everybody had basically insane health. Shoutouts to the rabbit. Holy. Finally, the Cricket win that has evaded me for days now. Because the two previous attempts with Cricket runs, I got literally to turn 9, level 3, and it died. I got a win with a Cricket, level 2. One Cricket away from being a level 3. Finally got it. Man, that was insane. I got very lucky. I knew I should have done one more game. I feel good now. And there we have it, guys. After three hours of losses, two hours of Mario Kart, L after L after L. Four games of sap, finally a dub. <laughs> finally. <laughs> Will I win this game? Uh, yes, sir. I legit, I didn't want to end stream until I got a win in something. You know, I didn't want to change the stream title to loss after loss. I'm sorry, guys. You know what I mean? But guys, I think I'm going to wrap here for today. But do not worry, we did get two subscriptions. So we get to do calligraphy. Now, my sister did use the camera. So some of the settings might be off. But we'll see. Also, look at this. Mm-hmm. 
Finally a cricket win. I kind of want to go for a, a deer win next, honestly. I like doing builds with deer, so... Okay, I'll get some music on for you guys. Also, while I'm getting the camera set up, guys, just a reminder, today's stream is presented to you by Peace and Art by Shopify.com. All the artwork you see back here is mine. I also have liner prints available, which are block ink prints. You can get color or black and white versions. And if you get the whole complete set, it is discounted. You can also get singles for a dollar more. Or a dollar or two more each. Where you get a 10% chance of getting a holo. Ain't no way. So guys, click the link. Go bookmark my website today. New artwork out. Hopefully next week. We'll see. Okay. You guys know the drill. Use your channel points or subscribe and I'll write your name. September did start today, so if you want to subscribe for the first time ever or extend your tier one, you do get discounts. There's more information in the pin chat. There we go. And I'll make that into a command as well. Okay, the ISO. No looking. Okay, I think the focus is back on auto. But it's it's so hard to change the focus settings on a, on the Sony DSLRs. Oops, wrong scene. No leaks, don't worry. I would never leak. Oh my god, there's two of me. Okay, yeah, I changed the color settings on the actual camera, so I'll have to update my filters in OBS. Flashbang, sorry. There we go. That's a little bit more true to reality. I only have three more names left in this book, so... Don't subscribe, but do.
once again, thank you to Emmy Beef for the 30 month resub. That's a long ass time. But thank you for your continued support. Smile. I think Emmy is my longest sub. Because how long is my sub? 32 months. That means the whole time I've been an affiliate, she. Yeah, because she started watching in like February. That means she only missed one month of subscribing. That's insane. But thank you, Emmy. You know, I'm kind of not feeling Mario music because we literally did Mario Kart earlier. I saw an instrumental cover of Little Goody Two Shoes. And it was honestly beautiful. So we'll listen to that. VOD watchers, pretend you can hear it. <laughs> Once again, thank you to ETH Maker for the 14-month resub with Prime. Thank you for choosing to give me your Prime this month. Enjoy the emotes. Okay, do you have anybody who wants their name written? Use your channel points or subscribe right now. I'll wait. Okay, I'll wrap here for today. Thank you all for watching. Any chatter slurkers? I hope you guys had fun today. I'm sorry that it took me three hours to get a single one in any game I played. But you know, we all have our off days. But all you gotta do is persevere, right? Okay, plan is simple. Tomorrow, I will stream. I gotta. I think... Because tomorrow, I said I was going to do drawing. I might, I think, because it's holiday weekend, right? I don't think I'm doing anything this weekend. So, if that is correct. If I am doing something this weekend, I'll stream tomorrow. But if I am free this weekend, I may or may, I may, or may not stream tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. If we stream tomorrow, it'll be random. I don't know what I want to do tomorrow. But for sure, if I can stream Saturday, we'll do DTI. Just to impress. But I play totally wrong. Sunday, we'll do follower journal calligraphy. So everybody followed during the month of August. And I'll do the top gifter for the subathon on Sunday. And if we have anybody who wants a sketch card. So Kim Pewter, Kobobo, Vicanta, and Mac. If you guys want sketch cards, tell me by Sunday. I'll make a Twitter post as well. But that's the plan for the next few days. So I'll either see you guys tomorrow, Friday, or Saturday. One of the two. But thank you for watching. I hope you guys had fun and enjoyed today. Please make sure you got Twitch notifications on, though you don't miss a single stream. And you make sure that you're double double check that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, Weekly Stream Highlights on the Main, and then Clips channel for daily clips and YouTube shorts. 
If you want something to watch right now, my newest YouTube video is out. I played Poke Rogue until I lost. Spoilers, I lasted longer than you think. Click the link and watch now. But thank you guys for watching. And once again, thank you to Emmy Beef and ETH Maker for the resubscriptions. Thank you for your continued support. Since this might be the last stream of August, I would just like to thank everybody who did donate this month. Computer, Cold Bobo, Vicantin, Mac for the gifted subs, Vicantin, and Marceline for the bit cheers. Thank you all. And thank you to everybody who supported me this month. Um, as you guys know, August was difficult for family reasons. My grandma did pass away, Sag. Uh, we're flying out in October. The only thing I'll say is that it's end of October. I'll only be gone for like three days though. So, because my sister couldn't, she could take more time off, but because of her work, they're more busy at the end of the year. So, you know, it's better for her to get more overtime when she can. So, yeah, three days in October, I'll be gone. I'll tell you guys the date later, but I don't want to leave. So, yeah, because basically, the ticket cost two seventy five, and then the flat insurance cost twenty five. So for each of us, it was three hundred dollars. So just to be fully transparent, wait, I can actually see my income. I won't leak it. To be fully transparent, wait, it's not showing. Which, oh, here it is. To be fully transparent, revenue from the subathon and just normal donations throughout the month, you guys paid for about half of that ticket. So, thank you to everybody who donated. I appreciate it. But thank you, genuinely, because we did not think we'd have to fly out this year. But you know what? Shit happens. Life happens. Enjoy your friends and family while you got them. Take care of your friends, you know? Anyway, I'll be fine. Okay, I'll see you guys either tomorrow or Saturday. We'll see. Either way, enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, bye-bye. Also, no raid, nobody's live. I have no Twitch friends. You know, I need to get clouded so that way I can quote-unquote network and get friends. That's all I want. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Enjoy the rest of your day.